10. Milford on Sea Defenses Weathering and erosion along England's southern coast in recent years has revealed a three mile to stretch of shoreline near the village of Milford on Sea. The shoreline is covered in World War II era coastal defenses. The structures, which consist of a field of metal poles and concrete posts intertwined with barbed wire and pillboxes, were put in place in 1940, just in case the Germans tried invading along the coast. At the time, the Nazi Blitzkrieg bombing campaign was taking place across the UK. Defenses like these were implemented during a heightened fear of German invasion in 1940 and 1941, sparked by the Nazi mission to invade Britain known as Operation Sea Lion. The military prepped by dramatically transforming much of England's coast, especially in the southern part of the country where the General Headquarters Anti-Tank Line or GHQ was installed from Bristol to the south of London all the way to York. Consisting of pillboxes and anti-tank trenches, structures like these were meant to protect England's capital and major industrial regions. After the war, they were abandoned and became covered by the English Channel. Over the years, sea storms and tides eroded the coast, eventually revealing the structures. Once they reappeared, local authorities warned beachgoers not to go into the water in certain places and at certain times, including during high tide, when the defenses were hidden beneath the sea. Local authorities ultimately decided to remove the structures and said that they expected more of them to be found as Mother Nature continues to wear away at the coastline. Very few of the defense mechanisms that were put in place remain today. Most of what remains are reinforced metal and concrete structures like those found at Milford on Sea. 9. Top Secret Arctic Nazi Base over 3 million German soldiers invaded the Soviet Union in 1941 under the command of Adolf Hitler. The following year, the Nazis built a top-secret base in the high Arctic on Alexandria land, an island located in the Barren Sea. Dubbed Schatzgraber or Treasure Hunter, the base was part of a network of tactical weather-watching stations that the Germans used during World War II. Scientists from the Russian Arctic National Park revealed the site's existence in 2016. They were the first researchers to thoroughly explore the base, where they collected over 600 artifacts. The island was littered with food canisters, weapons, ammunition, batteries, emergency flares, and other equipment that the Nazis left behind when the site closed. Operations at Schatzgraber ground to a halt in 1944, when staff members ate contaminated polar bear meat and got sick. The only person who avoided falling ill was a vegetarian. The German military evacuated everyone, and nobody ever returned. Today, the base is in ruins. In addition to the artifacts collected there, all that's left of the once heavily fortified site are the remnants of tents, bunkers, fuel drums, and an airstrip. 8. Revolutionary War Medal In 1781, the US Continental Congress authorized the creation of a medal commemorating Revolutionary War General Daniel Morgan who months earlier had led the colonists to an unexpected victory at the Battle of Cowpens. The piece measures 2.2 inches, 5.6 centimeters in diameter, with one side depicting Morgan leading his troops against the British in battle, while the other side shows him receiving a crown from a Native American woman. The medal was presented to Morgan in 1790. After his death, it was passed on to his grandson, who kept it in a Philadelphia bank vault. It was stolen in a bank robbery in 1818 and was never seen again. Congress struck a new copy of the medal in 1839 and gave it to Morgan's great-grandson. It remained in the family until 1885 and was eventually acquired by J.P. Morgan. From there, it vanished, leading many to believe it had been lost or melted down. Earlier this year, coin expert John Kraljevich was tasked with authenticating a piece that someone had anonymously consigned to auction. He instantly recognized it as the 1839 Daniel Morgan Medal, the only one ever struck. Speaking with CBS News, Kraljevich described it as the most shocking and important discovery in America coin collecting in years. Pre-auction estimates put the medal's value at somewhere between $250,000 and $500,000, but it ended up selling for nearly twice that much, fetching a record $960,000. It outranks the previous high price for an American medal, which was a Congressional Gold Medal given to General William Henry Harrison during the War of 1812. It sold for $600,000 last year. 7. Secret Suitcase In 2018, 
A man named David McGee spoke to National Public Radio about his grandfather, who died before he was born. David's grandmother, Effie, had a suitcase that she never opened and was very secretive about. Whenever David asked her about it or tried to look inside, she gave him a short answer and quickly shut the suitcase. Twenty years after Effie passed away, David finally decided to open it. The suitcase had sat in his basement gathering dust as he mentally prepared for whatever might be inside. It contained paperwork about David's grandfather, Sergeant Willie F. Williams, who died during World War II. Nobody in David's family had ever talked about the man, but Effie clearly kept him close to her heart, amassing a collection of letters, Western Union telegrams, medals, photos, and more. David learned from the records inside the suitcase that his grandfather served in an all-African-American military unit and that he died while doing his job of managing ammunition and explosives. David and his wife did some research and learned that Sergeant Williams is buried in the Netherlands in the American military cemetery in Margraten. The couple flew there together and paid their respects. The trove of documents that David found not only helped him learn more about his family history, it's an imperative contribution to the stories of black soldiers who died in World War II. Many people are surprised to learn that there's limited information available about these fallen troops. But this is certainly the case, especially given the tendency for the historical narrative to omit details that don't fit with the times. In other words, racism has obscured black voices from World War II stories, making discoveries like this extremely important. Have you ever found an important piece of family history in an unexpected place? Tell us about it in the comments and hit subscribe while you're at it. 6. Civil War Cannonballs In the wake of Hurricane Ida last year, nearly 200 Civil War-era cannonballs were found at Perdido Key along Florida's Gulf Coast. Gulf Island's National Seashore GUIS Superintendent Darrell Eccles said that it was unclear whether the cannonballs were left behind by the Union or the Confederacy or if they were associated with nearby Fort McCree. They were found in a remote area that's only accessible by boat, ATV, or on foot. GUIS detonated more than 190 of the cannonballs with help from other federal agencies. Eccles advised the public not to touch anything that resembles munitions or doesn't quite look right, and reminded beachgoers that it's illegal to harm, deface, damage, or remove a cultural artifact. Built during the 1830s, Fort McCree was seized by the Confederate Army in 1861. From there, soldiers fired across the channel at Fort Pickens, which was occupied by the Union at the time. Fort McCree sustained heavy damage from Union attacks, and it fell further into ruin after the war as the tides and waves battered it. By 1906, the fort was completely leveled. 5. Unexploded Bombs Rail commuters in Hampshire, England, faced an unusual delay to their train service in late 2021 when construction workers discovered an unexploded World War II-era bomb just 65 feet 20 meters from the track. Just days earlier, a World War II explosive injured four people when it detonated at a construction site in Munich, Germany. Not wanting to take any chances, authorities suspended service along numerous train lines after the bomb in Hampshire was found. An explosive ordnance disposal team was dispatched to the site to safely dispose of it. The explosion in Munich two days beforehand was an unusual event. Old bombs are found quite frequently in Germany, so construction sites are usually thoroughly inspected beforehand to verify they're free of munitions. In most cases, any bombs that are present at the site are found and disposed of in controlled explosions. Authorities said that they were looking into how the weapon had gone unnoticed. 4. Cold War Era Stretchers in 2021, a truck crashed into a historic pedestrian bridge in Washington, D.C. and caused it to collapse. Workers from the Department of Energy and Environment were cleaning up asbestos the following month when they found decades-old stacked boxes filled with military stretchers inside the bridge's foundation. Dated to 1954, the stretchers were shipped to a local elementary school that has since been closed down. They may have been left over from the Korean War, and were likely part of a surplus redistribution program that gave away supplies for disaster preparedness. Doug Harsha, who works as a curator at the Cold War Museum in Virginia, told NBC Washington that the stretches are an example of how Washington, D.C. was ahead of the rest of the nation when it came to preparing for a possible nuclear attack. He explained the type of readiness seen in D.C. 
was generally not seen anywhere else until the early 1960s. Many stretches were found in good condition. Some were given to the Cold War Museum, but most will be thrown away. It's unknown how they ended up inside of a pedestrian bridge, but Harsha believes that there were probably more Cold War emergency supplies stashed in places throughout Washington, D.C. 3. Lost Tank Blueprint The British-made Mark I tank was the first tank ever used in combat, and it proved to be a game-changer when it came to winning the First World War. It was designed in 1915 as a way to break the stalemate of trench warfare by enabling soldiers to traverse through craters and ram through barbed wire on the Western Front. When an enemy soldier saw the tank approaching for the first time, they reportedly shouted, The Devil is Coming! The tracked vehicle's blueprints were believed to be lost to history until recently, when auctioneer Paul Laidlaw announced that the only known copy would soon be sold at auction, along with a 20-page patent description. The blueprint's value is estimated at over $27,000, and the patent description is worth around $13,600. Described as a lozenge-shaped vehicle propelled by an endless moving chain track, the Mark I tank was first used in 1916 in the Battle of the Somme. The only known surviving example is on display at the Tank Museum in Dorset, England. Naturally, if a blueprint were to exist, it would probably also be there, yet the museum doesn't have one. So, it came to a huge surprise when Laidlaw received a call from a vendor who was looking to sell his copy. Speaking with Wales Online, the auctioneer said that the seller was unaware of the blueprint's value. The documents had been quietly handed down through the person's family for quite some time, which explains why nobody knew they existed. And it leaves us to wonder, what other treasures are sitting in people's attics and storage rooms, going completely unnoticed? 2. Soldier's Handbook a Grand Rapids, Michigan man named Doug Fassberg had a lot of belongings to go through when he inherited his deceased father's estate in late 2020. His dad was an avid collector of many things, some of which related to the military in some way. While digging through a box of items, he came across an old US military soldier's handbook. The pages were yellowed and fragile, but the writing on them was clear enough for Fassberg to identify a soldier named Max B. Wendland, who had enlisted in Detroit in 1901. Wendland kept track of his monthly pay and also listed the names of several other soldiers, who Fassberg speculated may have been friends who died in World War I. Inside the book, there were some colorful folded inserts that turned out to be military money, including a 10-cent certificate and two German bills. Fassberg and his wife decided it was only right to reunite the book with the surviving descendant of Mr. Wendland. The couple got in touch with a local genealogist for help tracking someone down and put out the word that they were hoping to hear from any living relatives. 1. German World War Cannon While digging up a baseball field for the construction of a public school in late 2020, a construction crew in Amherstburg, Ontario discovered a World War I-era German cannon. Local mayor Aldo De Carlo revealed that the cannon had arrived in the town in 1922 and was put on display at a local high school. It was buried in 1971 when the schools were expanded. By then, the cannon was in bad shape. The gun was soon forgotten about, and in the late 1980s, a ballpark was built on top of it. Upon its rediscovery, local manager of policy and committees Kevin Fox explained that the cannon is a rare find. During World War II, Many war prizes were scrapped to contribute to the war effort amid a metal shortage. The weapon may have been used in the Battle of Vimy Ridge, which occurred in the northernmost region of France in April 1917 and was fought between German and Canadian forces. The school district donated the cannon to the town of Amherstburg. Thanks for watching. Which of these military discoveries shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.